welcome back again to um, uh, the continuation of my uh, demonstration for object-oriented programming. So for this uh, lesson, I will be uh, demonstrating a single inheritance implementation. Uh, this is one of the key features of object-oriented programming. And uh, single inheritance is the simplest uh, methods of inheritance. And what is this uh, single inheritance? This is enables uh, the right class to inherit uh, properties and behavior from a single parent class. Okay, let's start to uh, demonstrate a single inheritance implementation given a machine problem that will compute the tuition fee. Okay, to start with, okay, let's first have our library, this library, the include input output stream then uh, okay let's use this one our standard for c in and c out okay so um we will first uh create the base class so why we will create the base class the reason is this particular base class allows to create another classes and this can be reused to other class okay so let's create first our class with a keyword class followed by the name of the class okay for this demonstration i will use the name base so that you can identify what is the base class and the derived class in our base class followed by the semicolon in our base class we have to declare our data members here since our base class only provide a uh, rate per unit so we need to have the rate okay a uh, double okay and our function our function is rate per unit rate per unit okay so now let's decide since this is base class and you want this to be accessible in another class because we will be doing a um, derived class so this particular uh, data members can be accessed by another class. So we'll use a public access modifier. Don't use a private access modifier because you cannot access this data members, okay, in the other classes. We'll use this one to, uh, to the derived class. So that's the reason why we um, implement a public access modifier same with this function okay so this function okay we will uh, allows our user to enter the rate per unit okay so example see out rate per unit in okay our rate per unit is rate then okay that's uh, our base class this, this is the content of our base class now let's uh, create a uh, class which inherit the base class so class then derive this is your derive the right class the name is one okay then in our derived class we will inherit our base class rate per unit okay let's create first the um, data members so what do we need here since we have already the rate per unit so what we need is the number of units so let's uh, declare number of units 
and the total. Why we have this one? Because we need this total for the tuition fee. And let's use a uh, double here as our data type. So uh, later we decide what is the access modifier for this. Then we will create our function which is to compute the total tuition fee or the tuition, tuition fee. Okay, so then, okay. Then in this um, function, we will compute the total tuition fee. To compute the total tuition fee, of course, we have to enter first the uh, number of units, number of units. See in our variable is n of units. Then um, we will uh, compute our tuition fee, which is the total, is equal to the rate multiplied by the number of units. Okay. As you can see, our rate is not accessible. Why? Because we need to have here Okay, we'll access our base class here. So we need to access our base class. Okay, so that we can now okay access the this data members which is declared here in our base class. Then I uh, see out okay. And uh, the total tuition, tuition fee. Okay, so let's uh, call our total. Then we need to, uh, for this particular um, variable, okay, we need to make a return value for this. So return, return rate. Okay, so we need to have a return value and for our total. total. Okay, so since we have already uh, done our base class and derived class, as you can see, we don't have yet here the uh, access modifier okay since this one this particular data members will be used inside in this class only so we need a private access modifier for this one uh, for our function since we need this we will call out this one in our main method so we have to assign a public access modifier. Now let's go back to our base class. Why we uh, treat our data members here, okay, and our function as public. Why? Because we will be using this one to this class. As you can see, we use that here, okay? Why we access this rate? Because we inherit the base class. Okay. Now, to create an object, you have to only create the derived class. The name of our derived class is derived. Okay, so you have to write derived here, then create the object name. So our object name here is obj. So this is a user defined so you can name it whatever you want this is our access okay then obj then we will access our um, 
function. Our function that we create in this class is rate per unit. Okay, rate per unit. And the other one is tuition fee. Okay, our, oh, sorry, our tuition fee. Tuition fee. Okay. So we need to add some system posts here. Zero. Okay. Now we're done with our code. So can we have a uh, modification? Okay, there's a modification. Okay, so now let's try to run this code if this is working. Let's run our code. Okay, there we have it. So our rate per unit, for example, uh, 1,000. Then our units um, is 10. Then we have 10,000. Okay, let's uh, make our output uh, look good. Then we have to apply some formatting. Okay. Let's modify it. Here, all you have to do is to write that one okay let's see and the other one okay sorry the top one the top all right so all this okay then for our total let's apply the uh, fix then set precision for the two decimal places. Then, of course, since we're using this one, we have to declare our library include iomanic. Okay, so let's uh, review our code again. This is our base class. Okay, in our base class, sorry, this is our base class. It's, uh, this is the base class. As you can see, we have a data members. So, and we have our function. Our function is allows our user to enter the rate per unit. Then we have here our derived class. The name of our derived class is derived. You can name this one, whatever you want. Then uh, we were going to access our base class. Why? Because we will be accessing the rate. Okay, our rate is from our base class. We'll inherit that here in the computation of our tuition fee. Okay. Now let's run it again. Okay, number of units, one uh, rate per unit is 1,000. Then we have 10. Then there we have it. So this is the yes, simple implementation of a uh, single inheritance. I hope you learned this demonstration and please watch the continuation of this video because I'm going to modify the uh, this implementation to uh, another structure which is to transfer the uh, function outside the class. Let's see how it works. Okay, thank you for watching.